Okay, chapter seven start with social process theory. Socialization, social learning theory. People learn the techniques and attitudes of crime from close relationship with criminal peers. It also says crime is what? It's a land factor. Who do we have criminal who do we have close relationship with? We have close relationship with our brothers, our sisters, our mothers and father. And as a kid, we tend to learn from them. Social control theory states that everyone has the potential to become a criminal, but most people are controlled by their bonds to society. Crime occurs when the forces that bind people to society are weakened or broken. Social reaction theory, otherwise known as labeling theory, says that people become criminals when significant members of society label them as such and they accept those labels as a personal identity. Interactions with key social institutions helps control human behavior. Family relations, parental efficacy, violence and abuse, effect of parental discipline, physical and emotional abuse. Institutions of socialization gives us the educational experience, race and educational problems dropping out of school, getting bullied. We also look at peer relations, religion and beliefs. In other words, going to church and attending church or mosque or a synagogue. Differential association theory is the principle that deals with where it states that criminal behavior is learned Criminal behavior is learned as a byproduct of interaction with others. Learning behavior occurs within intimate personal groups. Learning criminal behavior involves assimilating the techniques of committing crime, including motives, drives, rationalizations, and attitudes. Principles of differential association theory also state the specific direction of motives and drive is learned from perceptions of various aspects of the legal code as favorable or unfavorable. In other words, criminal might look at whether it's favorable for them to go to to rape somebody for six for and then go to prison for six months. Or whether it's unfavorable to them, knowing that if they rape somebody, they might go to prison for 20 years. And they look at that as consequences, whether to violate or violating the law. Differential association may vary in frequency, duration, priority, and intensity. The social learning theory, under the principle of differential association theory, is also look at the process of learning criminal behavior by association with criminal and anti-criminal patterns involves all of the mechanisms that are involved in any other learning process. Although criminal behavior expresses general needs and values, it is not excused by those general needs and values because non-criminal behavior expresses the same needs and values. 
Neutralization Theory, developed by Gresham Sykes and David Madsen. It looks at the concept of drift. Observation of the neutralization model states that criminals sometimes voice guilt over their illegal acts. Offenders frequently respect and admire honest, law-abiding persons. Criminals divine whom they can victimize. Criminals are not immune to the demands of conformity. The neutralization techniques also look at the denial of responsibility, denial of injury to the victim, denial of the victim that there's no crime that occurred as far as they see, condemnation of the condemners, they condemn people that condemn them for being a criminal, appeal to higher loyalties, Social control theory deal with self-control, commitment to conformity, and we also look at social bonds. We have attachment, meaning sensitivity to an interest in others. Under commitment, we have time, energy, and effort spent in conventional activities. Beliefs, what are our beliefs? We look at our moral beliefs, values, believe in law. And then the next one is involvement. In other words, we participate in conventional activities. Critiquing the social control theory. They look at that and say, the the influence of friendship, failure to achieve, divine involvement as a result of their criticism, defiant parents and peers, mistaking causal order. Key points of the social reaction labeling theory that behavior that are considered criminal are highly subjective. Also, that crime is defined by those in power. Not only acts, not only acts are labeled, but people are as well. Both positive and negative labels involve subjective interpretation of behavior. What are the consequences? of labeling, self-labeling, joint defined clicks, retrospective reading. Primary and secondary defense and crime labeling. Social learning theory, I feel project in New Jersey was used as one of the research for them. They also look at civil aid program in Los Angeles. Social control theory, we look at education, family bonds, and that's the end of chapter seven.